I ran across a really cool article that I thought was really going to set the stage for Notebook LLM as far as having a competitor. And it's this new model called Dia. And essentially what really got me excited is the ability to offer the likes of 11 labs, uh, excuse me, Google's hit Notebook LLM podcast. Cause I have been using Notebook for a while. Uh, I do like it. I wish it had an API and I wish I could change the voices. And I thought, well, this is going to be it. So let's jump into it. Uh, there is a link for Hugging Face. It's right up here. I'll put it in the description down below talks about what it is, how to use it, all the cool things. And they even have some examples that uh, I was really excited about. So this is the script right here. And the way the script works is basically you have this S1 and S2, so speaker one, speaker two, you put in your content and it will make a conversation out of the two. Not only will it make the conversation, but you can put different emotions in such as laughing, coughing. Um, there's a whole list that you can use. So let's take a listen. Dyer is an open weights text to dialogue model. You get full control over scripts and voices. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Try it now on GitHub or Hugging Face. All right, I'm impressed. I'm excited. Let's take control because I'm thinking, oh, okay, I can throw this in the windsurfer, build a whole AI automation around it where I can have it write a script and then send it out. I'm like, all right, this is pretty cool. Uh, here's another one. It's a little bit different. Yeah, I have been reading more about speech generation. Yeah. And it really seems like context is important. Definitely. I'm like, all right, this is pretty cool. Uh, here's kind of a fun one. Here's uh, they're, they're really putting oh, no. emotion. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the... So I'm not going to go on, but I'm just like, every time I listen to this, hey I'm really excited. Why did you just sniff? <clears throat> Why did you just clear your throat? <laughs> Why did you? So anyhow, you can put all these different emos, emotives, emotives, whatever. You know, you can make it different and unique so you have more control. So I'm like, all right, let me go to my favorite programmer, which is Windsurf, and I say, hey, bump dump all the page in from uh, Hugging Face. I go, here's the thing, build me a thing. It says, okay, and I go, you know, we're just testing this out. So I want a test script. So this is the test script that I ended up using. You can see basically it's got the S1, the S2, the S1, S2. Uh, we threw a little bit, I th actually removed it here. You'll see why, um, but I removed some of these verbal tags such as singing, mumbling, beeps, groans. These are all the different uh, emotions that you can add. So let's take a look at some examples. So if we go into File Explorer, let's go to Output here first. This is one of the very first ones. So what's interesting is it breaks it up. It's got the male character, the female characters, Ignore the emotional dialogue and then the dialogue itself, which is the combined. Let's take a listen to that. Hi there, I'm John. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, John. I'm Sarah. The pleasure is all mine. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I just finished a big project at work. I'm really confused at this point because I'm like, hmm, that does not sound anything like what I heard on the other pages. So as I'm going through Windsurf and I'm like, hey, there's got to be an option here to be able to change the tone of voice, the tempo, something like that. However, when you go into uh, Hugging Face, there is no information. I'm not going to scroll through all this. Feel free to take a look at the page. There's no way to modify it. However, this script is also available on Replicate. So I'm like, all right, let me run it through Replicate. So here's the script right here. Uh, I ended up slowing it down just a little bit. I think the default was 90, 94. So the default's 94, I ran it to 85. And I ran this a couple of times and this is the best example I'm able to get at this point. John, it's nice to meet you. Hello, John, I'm Sarah. The pleasure is all mine. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I just finished a big project at work. Oh, congratulations. That must be such a relief. What kind of project was it? It was. And it's almost like the the tempo speeds up over time for some reason. I'm not sure what it is, but I, I, I messed with this for a couple of hours today. Was really hoping that I could get this figured out because from a podcasting point of view, this would be huge. And 
They're going to have voice training in there also. I tried that and it even got worse, so don't recommend it. I am excited about the possibilities though, because this is, uh, what is it, Narnia? Or Nari, Nari Labs is the very first one. They've got some great examples and I'm curious to see what's gonna happen in three months, four months. But right now, I just, I. I, I, if anybody else has tried it, had success with it, I would love to hear your comments below. Or if you know a different API that does something similar, I would love to know also because there's just so much possibilities with this. I already have a couple clients that are interested in cloning their voice and being able to create their own podcast. So anyhow, this is what I found today. I hope you found it of interest. I think it's something to keep uh, track of because who knows after a couple of more fixes, they get some money and more programming time. This could be huge. All right, everybody, until next time, don't forget to hit that like button. Take care.